But I'm really pleased to be here um, at your convention. I hope you have a great, great convention. Je vous remercie l'invitation à vous adresser la parole et je vous souhaite un bon congrès. I dreamed I stood in the studio and watched some sculptors there. The clay they used was children's minds and they fashioned it with care. Some of the sculptors were teachers and the tools they used were math and music and language arts. The others were parents who used guiding hands and gentle, loving hearts. And when the job was finished, they were proud of what they had wrought. For what they had molded into the children could never be sold or bought. And each agreed they would have failed if they had worked alone. For behind the parents stood the schools, and behind the teachers stood the homes. Um, some may think this poem, adapted by Cleo Swarat's Unity, is definitely a dream. But it does note that it takes a team effort to educate our children. It has often been stated that it takes a village to raise a child. Well, a large part of that is a strong team to make sure that child is well educated. Over the past year, I have had the pleasure of getting acquainted with my position and learning more about how our education system works. I have no toured numerous schools across the province and spoken with many educators, and through this, I have had the opportunity to gain a greater insight into your roles. As educators and as government, we are both driven by the same cause. We are committed to ensuring our policies and decisions are in the best interest of our students and will help to improve their success. In order to achieve this, we need to work collaboratively to ensure every child on Prince Edward Island has an opportunity to reach his or her full potential. This year's theme, Reaching Out a Voice for All Students, is a timely topic and one with which I'm sure we can all agree. As government, we understand the importance of education for all Islanders, and that's why we continue to support all students across this province. Our decisions are in the best interest of all and should allow all students an equal opportunity for success. We believe that bringing the English school boards together will help provide a more focused and aligned approach to service delivery, reducing duplication and improving efficiencies and role clarity. We are pleased to see the new management team begin their work and we're happy to have the new English Language School Board trustees selected. I am confident we have chosen an excellent and knowledgeable group of individuals who will represent all students and make student achievement their top priority. An old Chinese proverb states, if you're thinking a year ahead, sow a seed. If you're thinking 10 years ahead, plant a tree. If you're thinking 100 years ahead, educate the people. We know that our investments to this end must begin in early childhood, thus ensuring our children are more prepared to enter the school system. We recognize that learning must be carefully nurtured from an early age, and that's why our investment in early childhood this year was almost $12 million. En tant que ministre, je suis extrêmement fier du travail et des accomplissements de nos éducateurs, nos commissions, nos commissions scolaires et notre ministre. We must also be aware of today's fiscal reality and the challenges all governments are facing. As we move forward, we need to be innovative and to think creatively. We need to make the most efficient use of all of our resources with a common goal to enhance the learning environment for our students. Our government has made significant investments in school infrastructures, but education is not about bricks and mortar. It certainly grabs the headlines, but our main focus must remain to be literacy, numeracy, and student achievement. 
Our department currently is changing to better meet the needs of teachers and students. We will strengthen our focus by providing our teachers with the data-driven instructional support they need and our principals and vice principals with the educational leadership tools they require. In our efforts to, to align support services to students, the department, in collaboration with the school boards, will further integrate special education services. We need to keep educators and parents engaged in the conversation, and we must always remember why we are here, to ensure that we are preparing our children to succeed in life, in higher learning, to be successful in the global workforce, and to be good citizens. I look forward to working together as we continue to provide quality educational experiences for our children. And if I can leave you with one message today, it is this. You are the greatest asset in the educational system on PEI, and I have big expectations of and high aspirations for what we can accomplish together.